All right, now here we are with um, Steve Goody in Hai Tai Tai. Uh, Steve, obviously you've been around for a long time, and investing in Wellington property for, what, it must be a two uh, or three decades? Years 15 years now. Yep. 15 years, somewhat of an absolute guru here. So, just as by way of introduction, Steve, do you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself and why you have chosen property as a, as a vehicle? I just love real estate and love property because you can control it so well. You can buy something that's cheap and old and ugly and turn it into something that really creates a nice cash flow for yourself. Yep. Um, you have complete and utter control over it. It's quite a liquid asset. You can buy them, trade them, uh, and, and at the moment, uh, in the property market we're seeing now, they're, they're at a discounted price. It's great. Yep, very good. And uh, we're in High Tai Tai right now in Waipapa Road, and this is one of your favourite hotspots of Wellington. Do you want to say a little bit about why you love this location so much? Sure. I, I really love High Tai Tai because it is halfway between the airport and the CBD. Uh, it's a good, solid location. You get good, big, solid houses. Um, mm. I also love it for for renting properties out because just down the road behind us here at, at Waipapa Road here you've got the high tai tai shops and in the shops there have got a full laundrette, five or six takeaway joints, a pub, a nice coffee shop, a nice curry joint, it, it's got absolutely everything you need including a small supermarket for, for tenants and so it makes it a perfect service area for having tenants. It seems uh, so obvious but um, uh, say more about why it's so important to be so close to all those services. I mean. Uh, there's a lot of suburbs around and families don't seem to mind living a little way away from the shops but why is it so critical to be close to the services when you're renting? Well, well certainly for tenants it's really really important because they want transportation, they want services and if they're close to all of that sort of stuff it, it makes it cheaper for them to live in the property hence for my benefit as an investor they can actually pay more rent mm. and they'll be prepared to pay more rent. Mm. I'm getting some really great rent in this suburb and a lot of the reason is that right outside the door here you've got the number 14 bus that goes both ways. So yep. you, you, it opens up the property to be tenanted by people who may not own a car and yep. still live in the city. Yeah, yeah, people want to be able to walk to their takeaway joint not have Absolutely. to drive, eh? yeah, un unlike families I suppose. Yeah, very good. So in this particular location Steve, who's the target market? Who wants to rent here? Families, young professionals, um, and, and I like that target because they're people with, that have a few dollars, they've got a bit of money to pay in rent, they like a good quality property, um, they want something that's close, convenient, tidy, and um, as long as you provide that then they'll, they'll pay a premium rent for it. Gotcha, so you're kind of providing premium properties to premium tenants for premium rent? Absolutely, trying yep. to. Yeah, very good. And, and so with those kinds of tenants, when you say premium properties and premium tenants, what sort of things do they look for? I mean, when they're out looking for a place in high tai tai, what is it that ticks their, their, their wish list? Well, normally when I'm looking for a property like that, I go around a lot of open homes, obviously, and I also go to open homes for people renting out other properties. And whatever the standard is in the area, I try, I try and make my properties just a little bit better than that. Yep, yep. And so for this property that we're at standing at here today, uh, it's got a single garage, it's got um, buses, etc. but the house itself, has um, high speed internet access and a large plasma TV in the lounge. I supply all of this and so I also supply a, a cleaner fortnightly that goes through the house for the tenants. And I just try and supply a slightly higher level of service than they'd normally get if they were renting another property somewhere else. Gotcha, gotcha. And I suppose that means that properties like yours are in very short supply. Yeah, so it means that when other people have vacancies, I normally don't, yep. which is what yep. we all want really is consistency of cash flow. Yep. Very good. And so here we are at one of your places here. I'll just pan uh, onto that place down here. So um, here's the house here in Waipapa Road uh, with the garage here and so on. So um, Steve, what's this one here? Looks like a nice house. It is. It's a single bay villa. It's a large house. Uh, I bought it a few years ago when it was a five bedroom property. It's mm. on two levels. So I took the stairwell out from in between. There's a walkway that goes around the side and now it's a two bedroom flat underneath with a five bedroom house on top. Yep. Um, I'm getting a very healthy rent return from it. I'm getting probably a better yield than most people do in this location. Yes. With the quality of house. Um, I've spent a lot of money making the house uh, very, very low maintenance, and I'm just prepared to sit on the place uh, virtually forever. Yeah. yeah. Um, in a in a good, uh, active market where rents are coming up slowly and funding's becoming slowly better. I imagine the capital gain on this over the next five or ten years will make me look like a complete genius, basically. <laughs> Very good, which, which is what we like. It is, it is. Very good. So um, you, you say a couple of things there. One is uh, renovation. That seems to be key with a lot of uh, experienced investors. And also you talk about the return. So renovation and yield, these are two key things that you look for? Absolutely. I mean, every investor, realistically, in any market should be buying a property as a business if it's an investment. So that's all about um, making sure that it cash flows well, not falling in love with it making sure that it's a good business model for you going ahead and um, that's the 
short and medium term strategy and obviously most people's long term strategy with property is having capital gain, having mm. the property go up in value. Yep. Um, but the cash flow uh, is something that you can bank on. The capital gain is uh, an added extra if you get it. Gotcha, gotcha. Very good. Um, just to close off then, Steve, any words of wisdom for those investors out there watching this or anything you want to say about how you see the market perhaps going in the next few years? Because we've been in some uh, interesting times lately. We have, we have. I think we've seen the bottom of the recession for now. Um, I think we're flattening out a little bit, slowly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it'll be a very, very slow recovery, so we've got a bit of time in our hands. So I would say get out there, start looking at some real estate. It's never going to be cheaper than it was yesterday, so get stuck in and buy some stuff um, and, and just look for some discounts and bars. You'll see that they're all, they're all out there. Yep, very good. Awesome. Hey, thanks, Steve, for being with us today. No it's problem. great to have you here, and good luck. Nice no, week. Thank all you. All right, cheers.